Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rigatoni. I'm gonna be showing you how to beat Gallon's nephew is apparently what this thing was called. I called it like Christmas tree thingy or Christmas ornament guy. He looked like a Christmas tr ornament. I don't know. Uh, but basically, apparently what you have to do is if your units have the highest HP is how you uh, get an attack buff. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna be bringing in the Lone Escanor just because why not? I'm gonna be taking off his sublink though so that way he has lower HP. And we have Sario here, just so that we can do, you know, more damage, big, 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 massive damage. Um, so apparently you do more damage if you have angels as well. I did not know that. Thank you to Nagato's video because I had no idea what I was doing on uh, JP because I couldn't read. But we're going to be showing you how and I will be doing it one without Sario as well. Um, I guess I might just be bringing in a free to play unit, also known as Red Escanor, because, you know, we're going to be getting him for free anyways. So yeah, let's just hop right in. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. And let's just see if we can. Because apparently, uh, the people that get uh, attack buffed, everybody else should get attack lowered. So they won't be doing anything. I have Red Gother as well, just because I know that everybody always asks, Oh, well, what about Red Gother? Red Gother does work. Red Gother does work. The real question is, can I attack down this guy? Or attack seal this guy? I'm curious. I have absolutely no idea, but anyways, whatever, whatever. We probably can't. No, 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 no. Actually, I think that's what we want to do. Uh, actually, I'm going to rank up Sario. So, let's see. Does it work? Does he get his attack buff? I don't think I have any gear on Zeldris as well. I probably should have at least geared him, huh? Oh, well. And yep, so Zel uh, Sorry, I'll dig it attack buff. Let's go. But I think he gets uh, taunted as well. So you will have to have a pretty beefy Sario. Otherwise, they will annihilate you. And guys, if you can't beat this, just do the normal one. I literally cleared the entire thing uh, just by using the normal. Uh, the normal the, the, the thingies. The normal. The, the normal stages on JP. I cleared it like that as well. So. Uh, uh, I should have just done the single target one but we do get immunity so i think asker should be able to slap now right yeah 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 he's he's immune so now we just do this slap and we punch and we do that boom easy easy w easy w so yeah, I mean, it's much easier now that I actually know how to clear it. That, that's that's pretty nice. I did it on normal last night because I was I, I was sick. I do feel much, much better today. So there's that. I slept for like 10 hours. Thank you for sleep. Um, so now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be putting in Mr. Red Eskinor, wherever he is. He is level 90, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, put in the blue Merlin link. And who are we going to replace for Sario? Um, and he will obviously have more HP no matter what it says. Because, you know, he gets the extra 50% damage. Um, I think we can just throw in... Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So we're bringing in this team so my Escanor doesn't die. We're bringing in Twigo and Jarek with the buff up Escanor. Because I, I actually lost to this and I actually feel ashamed. Like, that was an actual joke of what happened. It's just like, bro. And then I tried Green Eskinor and he got one shot. So don't bring in Red Eskinor or Green Eskinor. He literally does like 60,000 damage a hit. And I'm just like, oh. Cool, 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 cool. I hate that it's four people. I hate these kind of raids because they're stupid. We will rank up Eskinor and we're going to get horrible card RNG. Are y'all ready for it? I mean, Jericho actually did pretty good damage. And Twigo putting in the work. Alright, so we'll run up Eskinor and we'll do double attacks. Yeah, like literally my Eskinor was at half HP right there. Like it was disgustingly bad. Alright, so we will run up Eskinor, bop, bop. I don't want to use this, but I know I have to, otherwise I don't kill. Because my Eskinor sucks somehow. Somehow Max Eskinor's okay. Jericho being a clutch. 
okay, so Jericho literally was the only deciding factor of this, because last time, maybe it's because I had Zeldris, and since I crit, I did, I just did less damage. Yep. I didn't get a single, oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to do this. Let's just merge that. So he attacks him, maybe he actually stays attack sealed, that'd be pretty nice. Does he actually stay attack sealed? Possibly. So we do that. We rank up. We attack. I guess we'll fire that off too. Why not? Why not? One hundred thirty-three k. That's not bad. Bop, bop, bop. Whoa! Look at that damage. Dude, what is this RNG? Doesn't this inflict bleed as well? It does, it does. Oh, we got... I mean, 40k while being attacked, we can probably like 80% or some shit. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't actually just patience. Dude! Oh my god! This game is actually the worst. Oh my god, I hate this. Kill someone else! Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm never using S3 cards again! I'm never using S3 again! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. This is like my fifth attempt because I keep getting shit RNG. Let's go. I hate this game. This game literally did not give me S100 cards three turns in a row in the final stage. So he just kept getting ulted and we lost. So I'm not going to be using S100 cards. I'm literally just going to move S100 cards, rush ult, and I'm going to kill him twice. That is what I'm going to do. I absolutely hate this. I actually just hate this. Okay, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. So now next we'll just use, we'll move one card, we'll merge it, or th shoot off a bunch of Twigo cards, and then we get our ultimate. Don't laugh at me. He already got his ult some- wow! I mean, I guess what I could do is I could just rank up you, AoE, fire that off, fire that off, remove his ultimate gauge. Hopefully he's not immune to this somehow because I know some bosses don't even get like ult drained at all and he isn't absolutely wonderful Buff disabled that's unfortunate that is unfortunate so guys if you want to bring blue king in I think blue king is honestly a really good strategy because then you know you don't get sealed Because getting sealed is actually just the worst thing in this boss because then you can't do anything I should kill yeah, 500,000 damage, no crit, easy. Also, this guy looks really cool. I haven't shown you yet because I've lost like 12 times, but there it is. Come on, give me another one. Oh, that is actually so unfortunate. I'll do that, and I'll do this, that. So that way I can get go through ultimate, just in case if he gets ult this turn. I guess I could have ranked up this turn as well. Oh, well. So I think I'll just rank up and then I'm just going to use three cards so that way I can uh, have more HP because it looks like Eskin will probably die next turn. Sadly, we lost a stack of our buff, which really sucks. Dude, I hate this boss. This boss is so annoying. I'm just going to do it on normal. I don't even care. I don't really care about the rewards. And I mean, yeah, they're cool and all, but like. I can just get everything from normal. Doesn't even matter. Okay, boom. We did it with Red Esk and we're free to play life. Let's go. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Even though 7 million people have already done it. Hopefully you have an amazing day. And peace out.